Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. Anime Studio Pro's workspace tools can give us a different view of the action. These tools in no way affect the animation or assets of your project. They simply allow you to pan or zoom or, or roll your workspace to give you a different view of the action when working on your project. There are four workspace tools to cover, so let's get started. The pan tool allows us to pan around on our workspace. To use it, click on the hand icon and bring your cursor to the canvas. Now hold down your left mouse button and move the mouse around. If you have another tool in hand and you still want to pan around, hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse around. The zoom tool allows us to zoom in and out of the workspace. To use it, select the magnifying glass and bring your cursor to the canvas. And now hold down the left mouse button and move left and right. Left zooms out right zooms in. If you have another tool and you want to zoom in and you have a wheel on your mouse, wheel down to zoom in and wheel up to zoom out. The rotate tool allows us to rotate the canvas. Let's say you're using the freehand tool and you're drawing an object, but you need a different angle of what's going on. Like a piece of paper, you can rotate the canvas using this tool. So click on the rotate tool and bring it to your canvas. Hold down your left mouse button and go left to right to rotate the canvas. Now let's say you're using a different tool and you want to rotate the canvas. Simply hold down your right mouse button and the control key on your keyboard to rotate the canvas. The Orbit tool allows you to get a bird's eye view of your canvas. And this is useful if you have layers that have different depths. It will allow you to get a feel of where all your layers are at. So click the Orbit tool and then simply come over here to your canvas and click. Your view will change and if you click and hold down the mouse button and drag along, you can see how things look. And in my scene, you can see I have the school in the foreground I have some grass a little bit behind it, and then I have the mountains and clouds way back in the background. The blue arrow represents your camera, which you can adjust with your camera tools. To go in and out of the workspace in orbit mode, hold in your Alt key, and then go up and down to zoom in and out. When you are finished in orbit mode, you can always hit the reset view button. And you can do this for any of the workspace tools I have covered. And that concludes the lesson on workspace tools for Anime Studio Pro. If you have any questions regarding the tools of Anime Studio or just Anime Studio in general, be sure to check out the official Anime Studio website. I also have several Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so check them out, and I'll see you guys next time.